Welcome to Church of the Chair, where we always suggest you run away from an abusive relationship. I'm your host, E, and today, we're getting madder. If you're new around here, a word of warning. I will be spoiling all of Stephen King's work in this series, so if you haven't read all of his books, short stories collections, and novella collections, I suggest you leave now. You've been warned. Today, we're talking about Stephen King's most polarizing work, Rose Matter. You either love it or hate it. Spoiler alert. I'm team loved it. So how does Rose Matter tie into the Stephen King universe and the Dark Tower? Let's talk about that. The first mention I would like to bring up is Ralph Roberts from Insomnia is mentioned in this one. As is Cynthia or Cindy, depending on which book, from Desperation and its twinner novel, the, I almost said the Bachman books, The Regulators. We even take a jaunt into misery territory. There are mentions of Annie Wilkes, Paul Sheldon, and the Misery Chastain books. But that's not all, because also mentioned is Cujo and Carrie White. It is insane how much of King's work is mentioned in this one book. Now that we have the King verse out of the way, let's talk about how it ties into the Dark Tower. This one has a hard connect because Rose actually ends up going to the City of Lud, which is in the Dark Tower 3, the Wastelands. There were very few comments on my original video about how it ties into the Dark Tower and the Stephen King universe. Mostly people either complained about the book or praised the book, which is why I said that it's his most polarizing because in all of my videos, I think this is the only video, I'm pretty sure I haven't rewatched them all, where people were arguing in the comments about how bad or good it was. I do want to bring up one cool theory. It's actually the only theory someone posted. And it's this one. John Greenleaf 1000, thanks for this comment. And as you can see, I even uh, screenshotted my response. I like this idea. I do believe that the painting is like the doors from the drawing of the three. But that's all the time I have for you today. If I missed anything, if you would like to correct something I said in this video, or if you have theories of your own, please leave them down there in the comment section. But until next time, roused by a single drop of blood on the bedsheet, Rosie Daniels wakes from 14 years of a nightmare marriage and suddenly takes flight. That's from the blurb, the book description, the inside jacket, whatever you want to call it. That is one of the most eye-catching descriptions I've ever read. And the book does not disappoint. That, of course, is just my opinion. You guys can argue about it in the comments if you want to. I'll hail the chair.